I knew sooner or later you'd understand. What a great sport. Let's give a big hand to Zambi. Let's take a look at 15 mistakes that you might have missed in episodes from season two of SpongeBob. You don't want to miss these, so watch closely and see if you can spot them. Now let's dive in. Number one, your shoes untied. Look at this knot. Have you ever seen a more perfectly executed shoe fastening bow? First on our list is your shoes untied from season two. In this episode, SpongeBob unties his shoe in order to teach Patrick how to tie his own, but he realizes he's forgotten how to tie shoes, which is a recipe for disaster. Just slowly move your leg. After getting multiple crusty crabs to the face, Squidward and the customers are angry and leave, taking their money with them. Wait, let's go! Let's be money walking out the door! What's the meaning of this, Mr. Squidward? So in order for SpongeBob's life to return to normal, he has to learn how to tie his shoes again, even though taking them off would have probably saved him a lot of time. Instead, he goes around asking his fellow sea creatures, but they can't help. I don't wear shoes. Well, I would, but sadly, I am only an eel. Arr, I be just a painting of a head. Obviously, SpongeBob isn't having much luck. But his adventures come with some interesting mistakes, so let's take a look at them. Starting with this one right here. See if you can spot it. Hi, SpongeBob. Where'd the chum bucket go? In this scene, Plankton's restaurant that is usually right across the street from the Krusty Krab has up and vanished. This is the worst service we've ever had. We're going to the chum bucket. Yeah, good luck with that. The next mistake we're looking at actually happens right before the customers leave. So let's go back in time a few seconds. What's the hold up? <laughs> Notice anything else missing? The menu sign called the gallery grub is usually hanging from the ceiling next to Squidward. But the only thing there in this scene is the order now sign. The customers are really having a bad day at the Krusty Krab. Could you show me how to tie my shoes? Uh, fins? This one's easy to miss, but if you watch the fish as he responds to SpongeBob, his mouth freezes. It opens at first, but as the camera pans down, it stops moving. Number two, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. Next up on our list is Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. We'll see in a week. Up, up and away! <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick are left to watch over Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's Mermel Lair while the two heroes take a trip. And of course, the two friends can't stay out of trouble. Cat, what are you doing? We're not supposed to touch anything! But you said you had a question! This episode is filled with some hilarious and iconic scenes that fans love. You'll recognize this meme-worthy scene right here. I found this ID in this wallet. And if that's the case, this must be your wallet, then take it. It's not my wallet. But there are a few mistakes throughout this episode, so let's check those out. Come, boy, Patrick. Well, our heroes are away. We will keep evil at bay. In this scene, the mistake is pretty easy to spot. Patrick's eyebrows disappear. When he and SpongeBob jump into frame, they are gone for that entire clip, right after they reappear again. Ah, yeah, you butterfinger pink thing butts in that box anyhow. My wallets. SpongeBob, tickle him! As hilarious as this scene is, there is a small mistake. The box that Patrick dropped on Man Ray's foot is there in the first scene, but it's gone whenever Man Ray grabs Patrick. But I guess that's better for Patrick since he gets tossed around pretty hard right after, and a box in the way might have hurt even more. <laughs> <laughs> Frequency rising! Out of control! <laughs> Wanting some revenge, an injured Patrick uses the tickle remote on Man Ray, which leads to SpongeBob and Patrick fighting over the remote. It breaks, but it's not the only thing to break, apparently. They must have wrestled so hard, Patrick came out of his cast and his wheelchair disappeared. It's all clearly there when they're fighting over the remote, but when we see them in the background in the very next shot, the wheelchair and Patrick's casts have disappeared. Man Ray escapes, so now it's up to SpongeBob and Patrick to stop him. Not so fast, Archvillain! We still have the Orb of Confusion! Take this! Bad. On their way to stop him, they changed into outfits similar to their heroes, Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man. In this scene, there's a small mistake with the color of Patrick's hat. In the earlier shots of Patrick's hat, as well as the close-up whenever they accidentally use the Orb of Confusion, the hat is white. However, in this brief, faraway shot of SpongeBob and Patrick, 
The hat has a light blue coloration to it. Number three, squirrel jokes. Have you ever noticed salt shakers? I mean, you fill them up every night at closing, and I mean, where does it all go? Huh? You know what I mean? The third episode we'll be looking at today is squirrel jokes. Another episode with hilarious and iconic scenes that we all know, love, and quote. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! In this episode, SpongeBob is trying to get some laughs out of the audience during the comedy crowd. Unfortunately, his jokes don't land. That is, until he starts making jokes about squirrels. Did you ever notice how big squirrels' teeth are? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Huh? Poor Sandy. Don't make fun of the only people supporting you. Sandy! Water! But let's take a look at some mistakes. Hey, funny guy! I got a joke for you! What smells rotten and puts people to sleep? Not just gas? No! Your act! There are actually two mistakes in this scene, both involving shirts. The fish making fun of SpongeBob has a light blue shirt on when he first starts speaking, but when it cuts back to him, his shirt has now vanished. Now he's iconic and shirtless. The second mistake is SpongeBob's shirt. Here's how it usually looks. Fruit. Now let's compare it to this scene. Um, not just gas? The white of his shirt, usually above his brown pants, isn't there anymore. Remember this guy? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Well, this is him shouting again a minute later. Hey, why does it take more than one squirrel to change a light bulb? Why? Sounds different, right? That's because there are two different voice actors voicing the same guy. The first one is Doug Lawrence in an American accent. The second one is D. Bradley Baker in a Cockney accent. Howdy, y'all! The last mistake we're looking at for this episode is pretty small. Whenever SpongeBob is imitating Sandy, the two holes on his bottom left have disappeared. It's a pretty simple mistake, and they return again right after. Number four, Band Geeks. Too bad that didn't kill me. Band Geeks is an all-time favorite for most fans that was briefly featured during the Super Bowl's halftime show in 2019. Unfortunately, fans didn't get everything they were hoping for. In this episode, Squidward is trying to teach everyone how to play in order to prove himself to a rival. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. It's not going well. No one knows what an instrument is, let alone how to play one. Okay, new theory. The mistakes in this episode are pretty small, so watch closely and see if you can spot them. Here we go. When do we get the free food? This one is super easy to miss. You can see there are two fish behind Sandy and Mr. Krabs. The one closest to them can be seen through her helmet. However, the little guy farther back gets cut off. You can see his face above the outline of Sandy's helmet, but not through the glass. <laughs> Plankton is so small that he's having a hard time playing the harmonica. However, soon after, his size has changed. Correct! Plankton is standing next to Sandy's boots and seems to be a lot bigger than he was when he was playing the harmonica. After Squidward fails to teach everyone how to play, SpongeBob feels bad and starts to give his friends a pep talk. But keep an eye on Pearl's dress. Evelyn, when your little Jimmy was trapped in a fire, who rescued him? A fireman? We could all pull together and discover what it truly means to be in a marching band. The bottom of Pearl's dress is a different color in these scenes. In the first faraway scene, the bottom of her dress is the color of her skin. But when we get a close-up of SpongeBob, you can still see her in the back, and the same spot is now pink. Now, this next one is really easy to miss. Watch for Mr. Krabs, who is in the far left during this first scene. If you look closely, you can see he has a purple guitar in the scene. However, just a moment later, it's green. Still an amazing scene though. Well, that's all the mistakes for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. Then click the video on screen to watch our newest video. We'll see you there. Man Sponge and Boy Patrick reporting, reporting for duty. duty.